As Ohioans return to work during this pandemic, we are asking legal experts what your job can and cannot make you do. Good morning, anchor. Good morning, Cleveland anchor. Katie Houston walks us through four questions and the answers. First, what if you don't feel safe returning to the workplace? Legal experts say fear is not a legal reason to refuse work. They say unless you have a qualifying physical or mental health condition under the Americans with Disabilities Act, you likely are not legally protected to protest that request. So generally speaking, if someone is being called back to work, the expectation is that they return to work. And we are certainly cautioning people um, that if they refuse to return to work and are currently receiving unemployment benefits, that refusal will cut them off from getting unemployment. She says if you have a qualifying condition, there still has to be a conversation with your employer about requesting a reasonable accommodation. Question two, can your employer require temperature and symptom checks and require you to stay home? It is a fine for employers to do temperature checks and, uh, you know, ask employees to report whether they're symptomatic and then if they are, um, if they report that they're symptomatic or are demonstrating or showing signs of the virus that they can be sent home. I mean, that's for the safety of everyone in that workplace as well as anyone, um, you know, non-employees who may be entering that space. Question three, will workers comp cover me if I get COVID-19 on the job? Well, workers compensation still has that big causation issue. So the employee has to show that they caught this virus at the workplace. That's easier said than done. Hmm. But it depends on the industry. Question four. What if your employer is not following the mandatory operating requirements for safety established by the state? If that employee sees that there's not workplace precautions taking place, maybe they can contact HR, put something in writing, identify there's a work hazard. Maybe they might even have whistleblower status. He says put it in writing and send it to your supervisor, boss, and HR, and print a copy for your own records. The governor's office says employees who believe their employer is not following the safety guidelines in the order should call their local health department. Bottom line, legal experts say both employer and employee are navigating uncharted territory and encourage as much open dialogue between both as possible. In Cleveland, Katie Usen, News 5.